backyard builds. I know y'all like the shirt. So today we are gonna be doing something different. Um, I'm actually going to be making a cement countertop in this client's basement. So here's the workshop. She's getting the whole house for basement renovated. I'm gonna let you guys get a quick look around real quick, real slow. That's my friend Jeff right there. Say hey Jeff. <laughs> All right guys, so here is the area where I'm going to be working. My designated spot is right here. So there's going to be a cement countertop placed right here. And let me show you. There's going to be a cement countertop made right here. Let me show you fix this out. Going in this direction, covering this. And then it's going to turn right here. Also, there's going to be a bar right here. So the cement countertop is going to be built out from here to about 12 inches. And by the way, guys, this is my first time attempting to do anything like this. So I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it really is. So whenever you start a project like this, don't walk into it thinking that you can't do it because then you're gonna really think you can't do it. But I'm gonna show you guys that with your first try, you can really do a good job. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Boom. That was good. So what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm just going to go ahead and mark off all the places where the studs are. That way, when I make my brackets, I know just where to, to, to screw them. Sorry about that. This right here is called backer board. I'm going to cut these down to size, put these on top of the bracket, and then screw them onto the frame and also screw them down onto the brackets. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, this is what the concrete goes on top of, also mortar. But in this case scenario, guys, I'm going to use concrete, as you've seen in the description. Guys, and I had no choice but to play this fast-paced music so you guys can understand the seriousness of this. So right now, guys, I'm just getting the right mold for the brackets that I'm going to make to support the cement countertop. And then I'm just going to recreate them four times. So right now, guys, I'm just getting the mark of where the bracket's going to be. Then I'm gonna use my level to get a straight line so I can make sure all the brackets are in the same place. The same place. Now it's time to screw in all the brackets that I made. Just take your time, watch, learn, relax. Get a bag of pretzels. Yes, 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 yes. The time has come. I'm just going to add the support beam. Go ahead and 
screw it in. I add this support beam that way I could make the countertop more sturdy and when I pour the concrete that it doesn't break the backer board. Also, so I can cover up the front of the cement with some trim, which you guys are going to see in the end of this video. So now I'm going to go ahead and mark on the two by four inch and a half all the way down it. That way I know exactly where to stop the concrete because I'm going to make the concrete countertop an inch and a half. After this guys, I'm just gonna cut it and just do what I gotta do. If you guys look carefully, you can see that line that I made. Um, that line is the inch and a half that I was referring to. So I'm just gonna fill up the concrete from that line all the way up to the top to ensure that the countertop is at the, the desired thickness of an inch and a half. favorite part the rebar oh ah my leg i'm just kidding but this is my favorite part though you cut the rebar with the angle grinder those sparks everybody asks me do they burn your leg the answer is they sting a little bit so and by the way guys i've been doing this work for a long time um with that being said don't do what i do wear your safety goggles wear your personal protective equipment don't let the sparks hit your legs hold your breath when you cut the wood i just wanted to take a second guys to show you what a perfectly well Little less than perfect, nobody perfect but God, but an almost perfect frame looks like. So, all right, guys, now it's time for me to mix the concrete. This is just a $50 drill, and I put a paddle inside of it. This is a very good way to mix concrete. You don't need any expensive mixers. I just want to let you guys know that I made sure to make it nice and satisfying for you. wood and I'm just going to as you see I'm going to wave it back and forth to make sure the concrete is at the same height this is just going to flush it all out get it nice and good I had to look at you guys real quick and I, I don't want you guys to just think just because I'll be joking around with y'all that I'm not serious about what I do I, I actually think about building stuff before I go to sleep every night but that's between me and you You got to be delicate and you got to respect the concrete and you just got to 
You just got to remember that you could do it. This is my first time doing a concrete countertop. And look how easy it is, guys. So all y'all viewers, y'all watching this, y'all remodeling your house, y'all just want to do something. Don't let nobody beat you out of your money. This was very cheap. I did all this with under $200. So don't let the concrete guy or the, the guy who does the countertop try to make you feel like it's going to be real expensive, like it's real hard because it's easy and they're overcharging you, my fellow watchers, my clients. People are over. Look. Now, would you look at that? It looked like a boat. A boat would be like, that's too smooth for me. So one thing you want to think about when doing concrete is all you're doing is creating a fence and pouring the concrete so that way it doesn't go over the fence. So it's really simple. You're just blocking the concrete. And the hard part is all the chemical stuff it does when it dries that just dry. That's the confusing part. But right now, guys, I'm just going to make ledges for the backer board. You never want the backer board to have no support under it because then it might just cave in. So that's why I'm just going to bridge, make little bridges underneath the cabinet that the back of work can sit on to. So that way the countertop stays at the same height and doesn't start to sink in over the years. Very quality work, very quality work, guys. So what you're seeing right now, guys, I'm going to do to the whole entire top of the cabinet. And then now that that's done, I'm just this is a little trick where I can get the exact curvature of the kitchen sink. Just make my measurements and then use those screws to get it to bend. Cut a slim piece of piece of wood from like a two by four. And here it is after I drew it out, guys. That is the sink that I'm going to install. So right now I'm just going to cut it out and then install the sink. So just stick around guys so you can see all this come together.
make this the barrier for the concrete, I made it the same shape as the sink. So yes guys, this is the barrier that I made for the concrete. It's the same size as the sink. So I'm just gonna cut those sides off to make it round, just like the sink is. I'm using some braces guys just to keep that frame from moving because that concrete pouring that concrete on that brace that our frame that I made could move it around we don't want that to happen I'm sorry guys that y'all see my box of briefs. I'm not a hoodlum, I promise. I just got my tape measure in my pocket and it pulls down on my, on my sweatpants. So please buy something from me still. I promise you, I'm not a hoodlum. Well, same thing for the top guys. All you gotta do is get that concrete, fill it in that hole, make sure that there's no spaces between that wood and that concrete and just keep going and then <laughs> Y'all heard that sound effect that I made? It's a perfect sound effect love the sound i love sound effects so i'm just going to do this guys throughout the whole thing and i'm going to show you guys what to do next but i'm not going to show y'all i'm not going to show y'all me doing the whole thing because y'all seen it already so yeah two hours later Okay guys, so now it's time to take that frame off. You just want to grab the corners and just vibrate. So just like that, and all around. And then once you feel like you got it, you just go ahead and go. Ah! See, that's just what I thought when I seen those cracks pop up too. But it's cement, so you could just cover it on up. And that's it. Plus the epoxy countertop is going to go over it. So for those few haters that just watching just to look at the mistakes that I made, you didn't see none. The concrete made the mistake and I'm gonna fix it. So I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks right now. So yeah guys, after it dries, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a light sand. I'm gonna do this to the bar and the kitchen countertop. Now I have no choice but to show y'all this wooden bling, this wooden watch that my brother bought me. Take a look at this. Y'all never seen a wooden watch before. And then written inside of it, he got engraved on the back. I love you, bro. Come on, guys. Wooden watch. Back, back, back to the back to what I'm doing. Remember, guys, you gotta add water before you sand concrete. Now that that's done guys, we're just gonna go ahead and put the trim around the bar to give it its finished look. Then I'm gonna go ahead and nail in some of the detailing guys and I'm gonna 
show you guys a little trick in order to combine two pieces together it's very simple so just keep watching well guys yes i couldn't use a full piece because the bar was too long so in order to fill that gap like you see you just want to measure out the top and the bottom once you get that piece go ahead and line it up perfectly after that you just want to fill in glue in between those lines right where the two pieces meet at and then just get some sandpaper and sand over that glue and once you, what that is doing is the sawdust the same color as the wood that's what it's going to be is going to fill in those lines and then after that go ahead and get your sandpaper sand it down sawdust fills in the lines then get your sander and then sand it and it's going to be even harder to see then guys just get your um stain stain it you're definitely not going to see it then it's time for the little decorative pieces guys i'm going to go ahead and glue and nail these in and now that i've did a better job sanding i bet you guys can't figure out where the where the middle piece is that i added can you ah. <laughs> y'all thought that i shot myself on my finger didn't you didn't you <laughs> Now, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and use some concrete mortar mix, and I'm just going to go around the sides of the countertop. That way I can fill in all the little cracks, holes, and crevices, just so it looks better when it's complete. Now guys, Jeff did the black splash as you see. That's the tile man, the everything man. So they just taped off the countertop so that the epoxy doesn't pour over. I'm just gonna let you guys get a nice glimpse of that. And then I'm gonna show, show you guys us mixing it up, doing what we gotta do, making the countertop beautiful. So the ratio guys for this epoxy tabletop mix is going to be 50 50. It's just that simple. The same amount as you put in for the hardener is the same amount that you put in for the epoxy. Guys, it is literally as easy as it looks. Man, 
And now we just gave the client a chance to, you know, customize it herself. So we gave her the little paddle so she can do what she wants, add her little design in it. So at the end, the design going to disappear anyway. Don't tell no why. But yeah, we gave the customer the, the paddle. She could design it how she wants. So now, guys, I'm just using this paintbrush in order to, you know, get the epoxy in places that it wasn't or missed out at. And I just want to let you guys know, like, the concrete part probably was a little easy. Yeah, easy. So don't let people overcharge y'all. Or I'm just telling you guys, just do it yourself. Everything is really simple, very easy. And look how beautiful this countertop costs. This, e this epoxy that we put over the concrete only costs $75. So you get this beautiful look that you can customize for only $75. And it's very simple, guys. So just do it yourself and don't let nobody beat you out your money. Um, if they charging thousands and thousands of dollars, that's that's too much, guys. It's, it's not that hard. So now I'm just gonna use this blowtorch to go over the surface of the epoxy countertop. This just pops the air bubbles that rise to the top. I'm gonna start utilizing this first person appeal Cause it makes you guys really feel like you're there. Here goes the final um like they say like they say in the south the thinger majigger so yeah i'm just gonna get a couple angles for you guys to really understand what's going on so you can really see it from multiple angles bow another one pow another one pow and ignore this right here, guys. The contractor had, had took this down, so he's just gonna put something up here when he comes back. But yes, guys, y'all seen the whole video. It's looking good. Everything's quality, everything's great. This is concrete under this. Strongest countertop in the whole neighborhood. Custom built bars, countertops, everything, guys. If y'all need it, I'm definitely your guy. So thank you for watching, guys, and I got way more videos coming.